Hello? You must be Mrs. Elliot's daughter. And you are? Fred, her friend. Her what? Is she around? Is this a joke or? Baby, who's that? Just some gigolo who got the wrong address. What? Hello, Mrs. Elliot. Good to see you. Fred. Yeah. You know him? Are you stalking me, Fred? Oh, come on. Don't think about it like that. I, I was just trying to surprise you and nothing more. By showing up in my house unannounced? How did you even know where I live? <sighs> well, I guess the hardest thing to do is not finding Mrs. Elliot's house around town here. But if it matters that much, then I can leave this minute. It's okay. You're here already. Come in. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Please get me something for him to drink. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you very much. Wow. Beautiful place. Thank you. What is going on? Mom? Mom that has a boyfriend? What is it, young lady? Am I safe? I should be asking you that, Mom. Am I safe? Are we safe? What are you on about? I'm talking about the strange guy from earlier on. Ah, uh, Fred. Uh, Mommy, I don't care what his name is. All I want to know is how you know him and what business do you have with him? You know, that young guy saved our company from falling into a very deep pit. He's a good person and he just extended the hand of friendship. I mean, the least I can do is be nice. I don't know. I really don't know, but something about him just doesn't sit right with me. Something about everybody doesn't sit right with you. What about your mom needs company, Nancy? Then let me do you the honor of introducing one of my friend's dad who is a divorcee to you. Thanks, honey. But I'll pass. I don't even understand you, Mom. I don't understand you. Hello. I am the mom. You are my kid. So you don't get to understand me sometimes. All right? Mind your business. Anyway, I... I have some things to sort out on campus tomorrow, so I won't be coming home. That's perfect, because um, I have plans too. What? Mom's not going to be home tomorrow too, so... I told you girls I had a very bad feeling about this outing. I told you girls. Now, now, I've, I've, I've wasted makeup, wasted my clothes. I even paid for the drinks we had. What, what kind of rubbish is that? I know, babe. I heard that's where all those rich men go to club. How, how would I have known that it's all those low-budget Obikubana men that will find it? Um, girls, last night was not just the best. Hmm? We'll try again. Look, 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 I am begging you girls. I'm on my knees. If it's not certain that we are meeting correct men, rich men, count me out, please. I, I'm broke, my account is red, so I'm angry. I don't have time to, to, to waste on, on, on this kind of useless um, um, outings. Though. I don't have that time. Who is 
calling me, eh? I just hope it's money call. I'm not in the mood for rubbish now. Had to be money call. Oh. Why is this woman calling me? Why? Is that your stepmother? Oh, who else? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hey, good morning. Good morning to you, Evelyn. Hello, Mrs. Elliot. It's 8 a.m. in the morning. What could be so urgent? Come on, Evelyn. You know, Mrs. Elliot won't wake up in the morning and decide to call you of all people for no good reason. Anyway, it's that time of the month. Reunion o'clock. Reunion o'clock? I thought I made myself clear the last time that I was not coming for any reunion until you do the necessary. See you on Friday evening. Can you imagine this woman? Evelyn, um, if you ask me, I think you should go for the reunion. You know, God might touch her heart and sh And I did not ask you. Shush! Fasano. Hey. <laughs> If you're about to call Davis, just abort the mission. Why? What do you mean? I don't get it, Mom. Can't you read the handwriting on the wall? These people clearly do not want to associate with us. And honestly, I care less about them. Does it look like I would have been bothered about this if your father didn't make this reunion his last wish? Mm. The family reunion he couldn't make happen while he was alive. Look, Nancy. If this doesn't work, it's all right. At least it will be on record that I was able to give it my best shot. That's it. Uh-huh. And I hope you're ready for the drama that comes with it. I hope so, too. This is all you do. Wake up and smoke! Why your mates wake up and hustle? I'm afraid, David. I can't keep living like this. For God's sake. How can you be the son of late chief Elliot? And you're this broke! I don't get it. How can your father live such weight? Yet, you struggle to eat in a day. You need to pick her core. This woman needs to be what belongs to you. Act like a man for once, not a man for your rights. Hello, Davis. Davis. Davis, I know you can hear me. Anyway, you know the reason why I'm calling, so. See you on Friday. Have a nice day. Dear Lord. You, you heard her, right? You need to be at her house on Friday. And you should demand for what belongs to you. When you have some cash in your account, then you can call me. Until then, I'm done! I can see you haven't learned some manners. And I see you are still hungry for some respect you don't deserve. In as much as I would have loved to put you in your place, I'd rather save my energy for something more important. Silly ass. This life no just balance. Look at a beautiful house. Look at the luxury one daughter is enjoying all to herself. While the other has to struggle to make ends meet. I am not the cause of your misfortune. 
So stop hating on me. Did I hear you just say misfortune? Let me remind you that your selfish mother and yourself are sitting on fortunes meant for Davis and I. And I am going to pretend like I did not hear that. Good to see you too, Evelyn. Now I can't again. Oh, look what you've done to us. You brought this heart on us. Now they are on to us. Running, running, running again Oh, we've been running Till we went off lane You know, I put in a lot of effort in making this food, so two of you should eat. When exactly are you reading our father's will? I need to know too, because I didn't come here to eat. It's not like I'm hungry. What exactly are you two talking about? Oh, please, madam, don't play with me. There is no way our father would have died without a will. Okay. And even if there is a will, why do you think it will be in your favor? Well, if it's not in my favor, why are you holding on to it? Exactly, because if our father left nothing for us, you would have read this for a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Look, you cannot keep holding on to our father's wealth. He's our father, for goodness sake. And you are just a wife, a second one at that. You might want to watch your tongue, Evelyn. And you might want to keep yours in your mouth. You don't talk when elders are talking. <laughs> elders, my foot. Enough. Listen, carefully. As long as three of you have refused to accept each other's siblings and family, nobody, absolutely nobody should talk about will of properties. What kind of useless family? Look, 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 I'm not interested in any family. I just need you to run me my check right now. Give me my rights. Let me be on my way. I beg, I beg, I beg. Look, as far as I'm concerned, I am not interested in anything. Family, siblings, I'm not interested. All I want is my rightful past in my late father's property. And I promise, You'll never see my pretty face again, all of you. <laughs> pretty indeed. I'm going to ask this question once again. When are you reading our father's will? Maybe when you learn how to call me mom. <laughs> <laughs> mm. This is funny. Maybe you are beginning to dream too big. I'm not going to sit here and listen to this nonsense. Come back here. <clears throat> I'll be expecting your call, Ma. Evening. Mom, I told you this was a bad idea. I told you. Well, if you ask me, I suggest you give those two a position in the company and probably put them on salary so they would stop barking like hungry dogs. Thank God I didn't ask you. I don't need anybody to tell me what to do. You see those two? It's either they do what I want or not.
Evelyn, you need to upgrade this your wardrobe. Ah, this your wardrobe don't cast. So you will get caught whenever I cast. What are you doing in my closet? At least my own is better. I was born with a plastic spoon in my mouth, right? But you now, you're supposed to be a billionaire's daughter. Billionaire's daughter, I know. See, Evelyn, we need to do something to get money from that woman. That woman and her daughter can't be living a luxurious life and we're here hustling as if there's no tomorrow. So what do you want me to do? Rob her? See, we can't do anything now. You can stage your kidnap and ask her for a ransom. <laughs> <laughs> Who's kidnapped? Me. Who paid the ransom? That woman. She's not going to just answer me. You've forgotten I'm not her daughter, B. That's it. Who we'll kidnapped her daughter and asked her for a ransom? <laughs> Too much sense, not go kill you. <laughs> you know, kidnapping that girl wouldn't be a bad idea at all. Because she needs to be taught some lessons. Exactly. That girl is very rude. Very disrespectful thing. I will be making money while at it. Killing two birds with one stone. Oh, <sighs> Two more sets we not Yay! Break. Finally! Is this what the other company is willing to pay 10 million now for? Yeah. Um, sure. You don't think it's worth it? Honestly, there's really nothing to it. I mean. Well, okay, I I guess I'll just let the other guys have it then. Anyway, just relax. I didn't say I'm not going to buy it. It's just five million naira, right? I'm giving you for five million naira. I know. Well, if this is what it takes to not let my company lose its value, why not? I'll just sign you a check. You won't regret this, madam. I it's promise fine. you. All right, but is there any document in here that proves that this idea is totally mine? Yes, yes, yes. On the last page, you'll see a column there, uh, transferring ownership of the patency to you, your idea. Okay, that's fine. And the signs wow. of the ownership, transfer of ownership. What's your name again? Fred. Fred Osamota, madam. Fred Osamota. Um, okay. Okay, um, hold on. Let me take a look at the other file. Okay, that's fine. I just have to um, sign this before you leave. Yes, yeah. So, keep all this. Here you go. 
I'll just uh, keep these ones. Thank you very much. It was nice doing business with you. Okay. Have a nice day. You too, man. Come through for the money, go through the fire. Every day you know me, once in the dollar. Give me one smile, no, I want my love. Give me the faith and no delay. Come through for the money, go through the fire. Every day you know me, once in the dollar. Give me one smile, no, I want my love. Give me the faith and no delay. Oh, no, no. Made a very big mistake, huh? We should have asked for more than that five million naira. Can you hear yourself? Was that a mistake that we made? Or the fact that we spent over four million naira in one night? Hi. And how's that my fault? Were you not the one who was ordering for drinks and paying for drinks for every Tom, Dick and Harry at the club? How would I have known that the drinks would be that expensive? I didn't even know that the drinks were worth over 100,000 Naira. So it was Coke and Fanta you were ordering, right? Yeah, I beg, it's not funny. No funny at all. But what hurts me the most is that yesterday we were millionaires. But this morning, we can't even boast of close to one million naira. Well, the good thing is that we can always invent smarter ways of squeezing money out of that woman. All we need to do is focus and re-strategize. Huh. Uh, I don't know how we are going to go about that without that woman finding out. Don't leave that to me. I'll work it out. Fred, what are you going to do?
Hey, babes. Ah, I beg, I'm so tired of school. I don't even know why I have to stress when I have a company waiting for me. <laughs> you know what? You will have to help me with attendance because I can't help with this lecture. I'll meet up for the one for 12. Yes. Ah, uh, no problem. Normal level, I'll sort you out. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> it's good, it's not all right. <sighs> Oga, please move your car from the road. Can you imagine? I said you should move your car from the road. You're blocking the road. Oga, move your car. Oga, move your car now. Move your car. Oh, please, please, please. Please, move, move. I'll move, i move. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Please, I beg you. Just take what you want, but let me go, please. I beg you, please. I'm keeping it. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it. Keep it, please. Yes, I beg you. This is Nancy's canal. Nancy! 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 Please. Quiet. What is going on? Hello? I guess I called at the right time. Who is this? The person you should be speaking to right now. Do you know where my daughter is? And why else would I be calling Miss Elliot? Do you by any means have my daughter? Because I saw my daughter's car on the road empty. My daughter is not in there. If you know anything about my daughter's whereabouts, start speaking now. Otherwise, you won't like what I'll do to you. Is that a threat I'm hearing? You have no idea who you're messing with. Do you know who I am? Do you have the slightest idea of what I can do to you? <laughs> of course, I know who you are. And I've told you. Your daughter, the only daughter in front of your house, tells you that I know who you are. The question is, do you know who I 
am. Do you know what I am capable <laughs> of doing to your daughter? Wait. Is this a joke to you? Speak to your daughter. Speak. Nancy. Nancy, sweetheart. Where, where are you? Mommy, mommy, please, mommy, please, just give them what he wants, please. Come uh, on, so please, mommy, please, I'm in pain. Okay, okay, but where are you? Where are you? Can you look? Your daughter's safety is fully in your hands now. What do you want? Now you're talking. <clears throat> Ten million naira. And your daughter will return to your hands. But if you act smart, your daughter will return to you, but dead. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what is the mode of payment? I will send that to you immediately. Make it snappy. Wow, that was easy. Here. And who the hell is asking? I am asking. Jane, please, okay? Don't just spoil this phone. Don't be a party pooper, okay? Turn this thing back on. Hmm. You both, you have done something dirty in secret again, Abby. <laughs> as long as the dirty job puts millions in our accounts. Who cares? Why not? <laughs> Abby, Abby, Jane, put this thing back on. You girls are fond of leaving me in the dark. And it's so unfair. I thought we're in this together now. So this is all they talk. Do I know? They speak grammar. I mean, on the thing, I beg. Oh, nah, more nah, no, they do like this. See, don't spoil this they speak, they vex. Do this thing now, Jay. Don't be like this. I beg, I beg, I beg. Give us... Look, you don't need to know everything. I beg, I beg, where is the... So, riches, bitches, in town. Hey! Ah, 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 what's with that? What have I done to deserve such treatment from that low life? Imagine me, Nancy Elliot, tied up in a smelly room. No. But we know this is unacceptable. We have to take this up. We have to report to the police. Then what happens after that? What? Look, we just have to be thankful that you're back home, alive. Nancy, imagine something happened to you. Do you think I'll be okay? I think we just have to be careful from now, I suppose. Very careful. Apparently, it is not only your husband's children who have eyes on our money. Why are people like this? Why are people so greedy? Why can't they just accept their fate and let fortunate people like us enjoy the wealth that God has blessed us with? Do you blame them for that? People love good things, but they don't want to work hard for it. Anyway, now that we know that we have a lot of parasites around us, we have to be extremely careful. Very careful, okay? Mommy. Mommy. Now is the time for you to be even tighter with money. Make sure no one gets a penny, not, not, not even... Those your husband's hungry children, not even them. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, Fred, um, is there another company trying to take my company down? And how much do I have to pay for the pitch this time? 
<laughs> no, madam. <laughs> Not at all. There's no such thing. Okay, so? Yeah, I was just um, around the neighborhood and decided to swing by to say hello to you. Well, hello. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, well, I did it all the same. And I also realized I, I didn't get your contact from the last time. That's because it's not important, so that's why you didn't remember. Yeah, I know. Uh, so are you going to give it to me? I don't think it's such a... I know. I know this is very weird. I understand. But trust me, I intend no harm whatsoever. Not at all. I know that. Yeah, so... Can I get it now? I will just give you my card, right? I mean, you earned it, so... <laughs> that will suffice. Mm -hmm. Can I take oh. numbers there? Thank you so much. Thank you. You're All right, I'll give you a call day. then. All right. Thanks take as care. always, yeah. Bye, ma'am. Bye. Yeah, Fred here. Fred? Isn't it too late for an official call? And who says this is an official call? Okay, then what is the call about? Come on, Mrs. Elliot. Don't act like you don't know what this is all about. By any chance, is this you trying to hit on me? Well, if that's how you want to put it. Yeah, but I'm not your stepson. Oh, come on. You're almost my stepson's age mate. Well, I have been thinking. I, each time I... Okay. You're right. So, what is this about? Say it. Each time I set eyes on you, and like, uh, your beauty just permeates my, my entire being. Like, my soul, it's, it's on fire. I... I think we should really, I mean, there's a lot of getting to to know each other to do. I mean, it's as regards to both of us, really, if you ask me. And this is not me trying to make you uncomfortable, but you are a really, really beautiful woman, and I would like to, to get to know you more. Really? So, yeah, what, what exactly is the challenge? Okay, can I? I'm, I'm, I'm on it. 
Okay, what day are they looking at? Let me call you back. Fred. Hi, Mrs. Elliot. How are you? It's good to see you. What are you doing here and with this? Well, I was in the neighborhood and decided to drop by, but this time with a token of love. Fred, look, I appreciate you coming to my office, but with this, it's a no. What do you want my staff to think? Why does that matter to you? This is an office. It still doesn't matter. What do you want, Fred? Good. I want to be friends with you. I am older than you. <laughs> Well, not that much. And besides, as I say, age is nothing but numbers. Listen, Mrs. Elliot, you need someone in your life. You need someone to, to care for you, to love you. You need someone to be there for you. You need company. And I want to be that someone. There is, what did I say about you badging into my office? You mean my father's office? Your father is not the one sitting on this seat. Uh, <clears throat> sir, I, I'd like to take my leave. I'm so sorry, Fred. Um, this is my stepson, Davis. Oh, wow. Hi, Davis. This is Fred. I need money. From what account? This company's account, of course. Why? Why? Can you listen to yourself, madam? Look, it's high time you give me money to set up something for myself, or you place me in an important position in this company. And if I don't? He won't like what I would do. I mean, do you even have a conscience? Have you ever thought about how dad would feel in his grave, watching his children struggle to survive while you sit on his wealth? And do you think your father will be proud of you, smiling at you from his grave for disobeying his last wishes? You know what? There is no point exchanging words with you. Let's see how it goes. Obviously. And let's see who gets the last laugh. Nice bouquet, by the way. Small boy. So this past few weeks has been the best week of my life. Oh. Hmm. This is what it feels like to actually have money. Money that is almost finished. <laughs> but at least we know where we got it from and that sauce does not run dry. Wait, are you? Suggesting we kidnap Nancy again. <laughs> if you walked the first time, why won't you walk the second time? Let's say QQ, don't be wrong, please. We have to look for another strategy to get money from that stingy woman. <clears throat> money. <clears throat> and that very stupid, stingy guy. Hey, you know, I, I thought he was going to pay for what we ate. He now told me he forgot his wallet. Hmm. There's nothing I want to see in Lagos. Stay Guy. Um, mm, I would have loved to join the game, but I see you guys are already on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're on it mm -hmm. okay. Yes. I'll be upstairs. Very stingy man. Stingy. I wonder what he was thinking that he forgot his wallet at home. <laughs> I was like, there's nothing we won't see in Lagos. Just as in, so, these men are ridiculous. I hope she didn't hear anything.
Oh, you spent all this money. Oh, come on. It didn't cost an arm and a leg now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I wasn't sure what you like, so that's purely my discretion. Phones are expensive these days. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. You deserve it, don't you? Wow. You deserve anything. Everything. You even got my size up. <laughs> <laughs> this is gorgeous. Oh, well, the lady at the boutique was very helpful with that. Okay, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> this is lovely. Oh, beautiful. Thanks, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay, I'll take my time and um, fit into this. Thank you so much. I oh, appreciate it. Of course. It. My pleasure. Yeah. Drinks. <laughs> oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, here's to friendship. Friendship, good health, and more prosperity. money. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> mm. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> so. Friday's my birthday. Oh. Yeah. And I'm hoping you would like to hang out with me. Birthday is a big day. I mean, why me? <laughs> well, nothing. Uh, there's no specific reason other than it feels it feels good. It feels right to to have you around on my special day. But I will understand if you don't want to be seen around with me. Well, who cares? I mean, it's Friday, right? And it's your birthday, so it's okay. <laughs> I mean, a little form won't hurt. I right? know, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you can say that again. I mean, you work very hard, and that would present a very good opportunity for you to let your head down and relax. For once, <laughs> I agree with you. Guy, how far? Anything yet? Nothing yet. What do you mean by nothing yet? I don't understand. Bro, please don't keep me in the dark. I need to know exactly what you're doing. I need money. Ah, uh, you need money. If it's that easy, why you no go run on yourself? Huh? Is that what you will say? Uh-huh. Davis, I think God beg you, don't stress me. Stop harassing me every now and then. What is it? Relax. Relax. If you don't want to, then take God and go and rob the woman. Fred. Uh -huh. Fred. Now need they talk to you like this. Fred. What is it, young lady? Am I safe? I should be asking you that, man. Am I safe? Are we safe? What are you on about? I'm talking about the strange guy from earlier on. Ah, uh, Fred. Uh, mommy, I don't care what his name is. All I want to know is how you know him and what business do you have with him? You know, that young guy saved our company from falling into a very deep pit. He's a good person and he just extended the hand of friendship. I mean, the least I can do is be nice. I don't know. I really don't know, but something about him just doesn't sit right with me. Something about everybody doesn't sit right with you. What about your mom needs company, Nancy? Then let me do you the honor of introducing one of my friend's dad who is a divorcee to you. Thanks, honey. But I'll pass. I don't even understand you, mom. I don't understand you. Hello. I am the mom. You are my kid. So you don't get to understand me sometimes. All right? 
mind your business. Anyway, I I have some things to sort out on campus tomorrow, so I won't be coming home. That's perfect because um, I have plans too. What? Mom's not going to be home tomorrow too, so. full video gets out it will look bad for your family and to have a huge effect on the company <sighs> wow someone passed me i have to call davis yes okay. i need to hear from him this this is really bad hello hello so you've seen the video right isn't this too extreme what do you mean you're behind the video Aren't you? What kind of bullshit question is that? What do you mean by I'm behind this? Then who is? Well, you should direct that question to your father's wife. 
She definitely knows who she's been having an affair with. Guys, it's not, it's not Davis. Ha! Huh. Wow. So, who is it? I won't tell you. Rubbish. Who, mom? Is it that guy from the other day? Mom! How could you do this? How could you be this careless? It just doesn't make sense. <sighs> my goodness. <laughs> Who's it? Fred, how could you do this to me? So what were you thinking? That we're about to embark on some romantic journey? Fred, you made a video of me in a vulnerable state and you're going to show it to the world? Listen, Mrs. Elliot, they haven't seen anything. And trust me, you don't want them to see the remaining part of that video. What is it? Just give me the phone. You bloody bastard. You're just a common gold digger. What do you want? Hey. Listen to me. Sp spoiled brat. I don't join issues with rats like you. You understand? Good. Now be a good girl. Hand over the phone to your mother. Do you understand? Oh, you have every business with me. You are messing with the wrong family and I promise you, you will rot in jail. <laughs> I am so scared, huh? Now listen, Nancy, or whatever you call yourself, your threat will do nothing than jeopardize your mother's dignity and every single thing your late father labeled for and left in her possession. Do you understand? You don't want to imagine what it will look like, I mean, your mother's video all over the internet. You don't. What is your price? 100 million naira. 100? 100 million? This bastard is asking for a hundred million like it's a hundred thousand. What? Fred? Fred, there is no way I can give you hundred million naira. Why not? You have the money, don't you? Fred, Fred, listen. You do the listening, Mrs. Elliot. Now, I'm giving you four days to organize my money or be a porn star. Do you understand? Call me when you're ready. Choice is yours. What did he see? Oh my goodness me. I can just. I just can't believe this. I cannot believe this. My children, I know I'm not supposed to call you that, but I want us to tackle this as a family. Because at the end of the day, we're still family. Oh, so now we're family because your relationship with your boy toy has gone south, right? But that guy is not even her boy toy. He's just a leech. Okay, I don't understand why I'm sitting. Why are we having this conversation? Why am I sitting here having a discussion with some kid? Why? What am I doing here? What do you guys want? Because I want us to join our heads together. The fall of one is the fall of all. The family is at stake. The, the company is at stake. Your father's legacy, everything he worked hard for is going to go down the drain. Due to your own carelessness. Yes. Yeah, I accept that. But 
I promise that if we can scale through this without much damages, I, I will do anything you want me to do. Anything. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, I promise. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Davis, you're not saying anything. Hmm. Um, I... Uh, I'm still trying to figure something out. Can I have this toy boy's contact? Yeah, of course. Hello, Fred. You have proven to be a traitor. But if you know what is good for you, you will abort this mission of yours, or I swear to you, you are going to face the consequence for biting the finger that fed you. Hello, Zach. Yeah, I'm going to forward a number to you. I need the person's location. Find out who the owner is, okay? And please, treat us urgent. Yes. best. Please, Davis, I, I know I have no right to ask for this, but please. It's fine. I'll take care of it. Fred. That traitor. Hello, Zach. Oh, nice. You found him. I'll be right there. Nice one. You're Fred, right? What are you doing here? You seem to know me. Well, maybe if you had a better relationship with your brother, then you would know me. Hmm. You seem to me like an enemy within. It's always the ones close to us, isn't it? Listen, I don't know who you are. I don't know how you found me. I don't have any business with you. So leave this instant. Step back! Now! I don't even know why you're doing this. I don't know why you care about a woman who doesn't care about you and Davis. 
She's sitting greedily on what you should be enjoying and nobody seemed to be able to stand up to her. I'm doing this for you. Fighting for you. Trying hard to get what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. Is this what I get? And who gave you this task? I am tired of seeing David struggle to make ends meet when his money is stuck somewhere. Is Davis aware of this? No, he's not. And I'm not even certain he will be in support of the idea. All I was concerned with is to ensure that that woman is taught a lesson. Hello, Mrs. Elliot. Did you find him yet? Not yet. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm coming. Brother, have you found anything about the guy? Brother, anyway, I really need to see your mom. Okay, that's fine. Mom! Mom! Yeah? Davis is here to see you. Davis, any progress? I um, I, I don't know if this information I bring to you would be of any good or if it would make matters worse. What information? I have something that you can hold against Fred. You do? Okay. Yes, I, I do, but it, it comes this it comes with a confession that is of a disadvantage to me. What are you talking about? Um, <clears throat> thing is, Fred is my friend. In fact. We live in the same flat. What? Yes, and he showing up at your company with the advertising agency thingy was was all a setup. <laughs> I don't understand. Thing is, we planned it. Truth is, there was never ever any company that was trying to compete. The pitch that he sold to you was an idea that we came up with after spending so much time overnight. I really needed help from you, but you didn't want to help me. And so I decided to come up with the idea. But unfortunately, the five million naira that we got from you, we squandered it. And then Fred decided that he should try his luck with you. How dare you! I'm sorry, but I promise you that I would fish Fred out and I'll make sure that he pays for this. I I'm really sorry. Can you believe this, Nancy? What is this? I brought this upon myself. This is my fault. No, it's my fault. I should have been nicer to these kids. It is not your fault. I would have been in this mess. Oh my God. How can Davis be this wicked? Why? How can he be so mean? 
<laughs> so sorry, mom. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know what we will do. I will convince Mrs. Elliot to pay the 100 million Naira and we do 70-30. So who gets the 30 and who gets the 70? And what kind of stupid question is that? Who else is supposed to get the 70% if not me? I mean, your papa mon, you did Chris. But this was my idea in the first place. And if anyone should be getting the lion's share, then it should be me. Look, let me tell you. It's better. I need like two cars or three, maybe two. One Mercedes, one, maybe another smaller car, maybe a range, a small range. Maybe. Mercedes or range. Okay, one correct car, then maybe one small car, knockabouts. Then um, I'll use like um, 
10 million or 20 million for my hair business. Hmm? Hair and, did I do hair and um, clothes? Hair, hair business, they give money. All these girls are cashing out. I think I'll do hair. I'll put 20 million naira into that one. But should I do 10? And then just write it down here. Then, so the most interesting parts, my bags and shoes. That Bottega that I've been wanting since. I'll buy it in five colors. Five. <laughs> ah. So this girl is calling me now because her mother needs my help. Eh? <laughs> she don't hear what she's calling me now. Because her mother needs my help. <laughs> mm. Yes, Nancy, how can I be of help to you? How could you stoop so low, Evening? What are you talking about? It is about you abducting me just to extort money from my mother. Who told you that? Oh, you thought I wouldn't find out, didn't you? Evelyn, you should be ashamed of yourself. You will never go scot-free. I will make sure you rot in jail. And I have enough evidence to back me up. Rubbish. Oh, uh, Nance, Nance. Mom. Mom, Mom, you need to call the police. You need to call this police. These people should be arrested. How dare you? What were you thinking? How dare you, you bloody traitor? How dare you? Huh? Are you stupid? Like you think you'll go scot free? What are you talking about, Evelyn? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Nancy knows about the abduction. And you think I'll tell her about the adoption? Why would I do that? You forgot I was part of the adoption. So who did? Jane. By the time you girls see this, I will be out of here. I held on to the record of you two's conversation for long and a revenge on you girls for shoving me aside. The video of you two discussing about Evening's abduction has been sent to Nancy. This few days has been the best days of my life. Oh. So this is what it feels like to actually have money. Money that is almost finished. Hmm. At least we know where the money came from and that sauce does not run dry. Are you saying we should kidnap Nancy again? Yes now, as long as it worked the first time. Why won't it work the second time? Let's say quickly done the home room. See, Evelyn, we have to look for another strategy to get money from that stingy woman. The person need money, Yeah. The person need money, Yes, now. I thought this is <coughs> <coughs> Very stingy man. <laughs> stingy man. Just I imagine. thought he was going to pay for the... I hope Miss Elliot takes this up and you two pay for your crime. Hey, she has killed us. Evelyn, I need to leave this house now. I'm so sorry, but I need to leave, please. Fred, just look, there's no time. Go ahead and do your thing. Go ahead, go ahead, just do your thing. <sighs> Is the one calling? I'll take that. Hello, Mrs. Elliot. Yes, my patience is wearing thin. You have before tomorrow to pay my money or I'm going to be dropping the rest of the video. Is that clear? And I give you till tomorrow, Fred, to abort this mission of yours or I promise you 
you will pay dearly with your life. <laughs> Davis, my man, is that you? <laughs> Davis, you and I know that you can't do anything. Now listen up, buddy. You have before tomorrow to pay my money or I'll make sure I sell this video to all the blogs. Do you understand? I will not only tarnish your mother's image, or sorry, your stepmother's image, but I will ensure that I destroy permanently your family name. Now watch everything your late father labored all his life for crumble like a pack of cards in a twinkle of an eye. Demi. Fred! Fred! We're rich, right? Yes. 100 million naira. <laughs> There's no way we are paying that, that low life 100 million naira. God, no one the video out there. That fool has a video of me naked. I woke up to see it the next morning. I was stuck naked in that video. No, no. He's not going to get a cobble. How am I to return to school? How am I to face my friends, my colleagues? My final exam starts soon. How am I to cope with the shame and the, and the embarrassment that comes with this? Brother, brother, please. Brother, please, you need to stop this friend of yours, please. All right. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hey, bestie. I can't imagine what's, what's going on on the internet right now. So this guy did this. He actually put my video out there. This boy has ruined me. What do I do? Where, where do I go from here? Who is it? Oh, it's Davis. Davis. Mom, what's going on? I've been trying to reach your phone, but it's been switched off. I can't turn the phone on. I'm too scared to turn it on. Do you know that the video is out there? Yes, a video is out. But it's not a video that you think. What do you mean? While everyone anticipated Fred's video, Evelyn outsmarted him and dropped the video of him instead. But not only that, she also forwarded it to all the popular blokes and sent the pictures to the commissioner of police who has now declared him wanted for blackmail. Look, his picture has gone viral. He deserves this. He deserves this. He's very wicked. He deserves this. <sighs> you just calm down, okay? <sighs> it's, it's all right. Thank you, Davis. Thank you. What? 
She has exposed me. That evil girl, she has exposed me. Ah, oh, this is not good. This is not good. I have to run. I have to run. If you move, I will shoot you. Put your hand on your head right now. If you move, I will shoot you. Thank you so much. It's the least I could do after all I put you through. I'm sorry. And I had to protect our father's name. I couldn't let all he worked for just go into the mud because of greed. I'm sorry I was rude <laughs> to you. It's not like I was the best big sis one would ask for. But it's not your fault. It's not yours either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come in. Thank you. <laughs> um, let me tell mommy here. Okay. <laughs> Sweet hat. <laughs> oh. Thank you. It's the least I could do. After at the end of the day, we're all family. Yes, that's what we are. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I just called the barrister, so he's on his way. Really? Yes, he is. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Wow, today is a good day. Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Oh, Mom. <laughs> That's so sweet. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Wait. I don't get it. Are you sure it's my father that wrote this will? Well, I have no reason to mention your father's will. But that's not possible. There's no way our father will leave everything to her and, and nothing for us. Actually, he did will everything to me. I've always known this. Reasons why I delayed it. Actually, your father did that because he wanted to put the power of bringing the family together in my hands. 
dividing his properties among children who already divided was not such a good idea for him. Your father's dying wish is that his children should be united. Then I can go ahead and divide the properties the way I wish. That's exactly what I was trying to do all this while, but both of you didn't understand it. There is no way any of you can get something from your father's words if you're not united. That is the condition. If this unity had happened earlier before now, I don't think we would have gone through all these things we have gone through, hurting each other's feelings. What will I gain by sitting on your father's words and watch his children suffer? What do I stand to gain? Now, this is what is going to happen. Each of you are going to get a car and a house. You're going to think properly what you want to do with your lives. I mean the businesses you want to venture into. Come up with a proper business plan. Then let me see it. Believe me. I would pay whatever it costs to establish those businesses. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are you serious? Does it look like I'm joking, honey? Uh, no. Oh my God. <laughs> includes me. Yes, of course. Your father wants all of you to be strong entrepreneurs and very established. That's his dream. Oh, thank you so much. I had no idea you were this kind. Thank you. I'm not as bad as you thought. <laughs> thank you, mom. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, Thank you so hi. much. Oh. <laughs> 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 